Now, you may not have thought that pigments actually have healing properties. You just know them as colors. But I'm going to tell you a little bit that's really cool about the healing properties of pigments found in algae. Now, first of all, I want you to know that there are two pigments in spirulina. It's called a blue-green algae because it has two pigments in it. A blue one that's called phycocyanin that doesn't exist anywhere else. And it has the green pigment that you're probably familiar with called chlorophyll. Now, chlorella only has one pigment and it's called chlorophyll. Now, I wanted you to understand these two pigments because they behave differently in your body. Phycocyanin, the blue pigment, is water-based, and so it has properties that heal things like your blood, your, your colon, uh, and chlorella has the chlorophyll, which is a fat-based pigment, and so it heals things like your cell walls. So one of the benefits of, of the pigment called phycocyanin is that it is proven to have what's called anti-angiogenesis properties. I know that's a mouthful, but what it means is it stops the growth of blood vessels to tumors. So both of these pigments have very amazing healing properties, phycocyanin for anti-cancer protective capabilities, and chlorophyll, which feeds and heals your cell walls and also kills bacteria. But you'll You'll benefit from both of them. This is why we recommend both of them, but they, I wanted you to understand that pigments have healing properties too, and there's loads of them in algae.